Yakov's is just a wonderful place. It's a nice small university, a nice small campus, quite intimate. There's students from so many different nations. You know, the number changes every day. Some say 60, some say 70. I think there are over, over 90 nations at Jakobs. And all this representation of different cultures, different people, it just makes it so much more special, you know? I don't think you can go anywhere and experience what you experience at Jakobs. You get to meet people from so many different um, countries. You get to know about them and see the differences between where you come from and where they come from. When you first come to Jakobs, it's, it can be a bit overwhelming, you know. When I started my undergrad here, the first semester was crazy because you have so much to do and 24 hours just doesn't seem to be enough, you know. It's, I think that's what helps people grow, actually, by being at Jakobs. It's, it's not easy at all. <laughs> it's, yeah. But it gets easier with time, you know. It just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. And some people say if you can survive your three years at Jakobs, you can survive anything in life. And I believe that. It's quite, it's, quite, it's quite busy. <laughs> I've always been interested in the renewable energy and I managed to get that opportunity by studying under Professor Thompson. I've always wanted to try and open something with water purification and algae gives you the technology to be able to clean sewage and um, waste water with the algae. So for me that's quite fascinating and if I can learn that here then I can definitely implement it back when I go back to my country one day. I think we've got excellent labs when you compare to many other universities. Like um, I did my internship in South Africa when I was in my second year in my undergrad and when I went there, you know, I appreciated Jakob so much more. You know, they had everything, but the amount of space we have here, because there are not so many students in each lab, usually like maybe up to 15. So you're able to use the equipment on your own. You don't have to wait, you know. There are certain labs whereby there's one machine for maybe 100, 200 students. But at Jakob's, they've made it in such a way that the research labs are really able to accommodate everyone, so. I love the labs here. <laughs> You're able just to do whatever you need to do without really struggling to find um, the, the equipment. I, I think Jakobs definitely gives people the skills for the future. I mean, if you look at the range of courses that students take, you know, to be able to graduate from here, in whichever major, you know, there's so much that you learn that you have to implement later. And I mean, I could go through all the different majors like international relations, or even what I'm studying. It's all stuff that can be, you know, put into use. So that's definitely a skill set if you think about it.